Hello guys, this is Grandmaster Alexander Rachmanov and today I'm gonna play some games on leeches.org so Start Let's start with 3 plus 0, knight f3, most solid move, white, also I, of course I have to play, uh, I had to play d4, stop in e5, but okay, big deal. So let's... Uh, make it 2800 and then switch for one plus zero bullet so typical king's indian king's indian reverse set my plan is to play on the king side Let's say f4. I'm going to sacrifice something inside soon, most probably. Also, black has very solid setup with uh, this f7, g6, h7. b5 is coming, so probably play bishop d2. Obviously black is better, or black was better. I have some ideas with g4, knight g3, then knight e4, knight e5. Knight is very... Place it on h5 or e4. I have ideas with f6. And back, bad thing for black that bishop on c8 and rook on a8 are out of play and pretty badly place it. Hard to develop them. Okay, he's trying. I can grab b7 pawn, but then rook b8. Not something what I want to do. Knight on e5 is more well placed. I can do bishop e4 or knight e5. Uh, what? Let, uh, let's try aggressive play. h4. Because if he would take on h4, then I do knight h5, and like he did, I can do. I can start with six, removing his knight from the center now. Six and knight e4, attacking the g5 pawn. He takes e4, e4 nice positional sacrifice. Also, I don't believe it. Don't believe that it works. Six still aggressive play. If f five is coming, obviously he should take on f six. Don't see any point about playing d three. Ah, bishop f six. I can do queen f three. King g seven. Maybe bishop take g five. What? Queen b6, nobody cares about this pin. About this pawn, probably his idea to play c4, giving me a check, but here. Also, king g2 was slightly an aggressive. The of bishop takes c3. Also, still, I can grab the pawn on g5. Picking up three is a nice idea. Also, I had to do it on previous move, not allowing him to take the pawn on f6. Is a win for me. Yeah. 
Yes, now it's not that winning anymore. Still should be winning, but it's a big fight now. So I am better on time. Oh, rook takes f7 works. One. Question, what is better, rook takes f7 or bishop takes d6? Seven. Knight e4 doesn't work because my rook covered in d5. Fine, of course, very much. c5, very nice. Here with knight f6. Rubinstein variation. Most of the players not familiar with this line, so that's why you get uh, easy points, free points. Grabbing a pawn, um, one more pawn. So now, of course, if uh, I will be able to develop my pieces in more or less normal way, uh, Black is just winning, so, the, uh, so now everything depends if I can do, I can develop my pieces in a good way. Okay, he still cannot do rook d3 because his uh, bishop is hanging, and in such situations it's good idea to leave the queen on, on this square because uh, of maybe bishop d2. Okay, let's. But uh, sometimes it's quite a good idea to leave the queen there to create some problems for opposite side. Let's press it. Well, then that bishop should be seven coming. I still have I still two pawn ups. Also, I can I cannot castle short. That could be dangerous. One he here to place his a four. We let him to do that. Maybe knight b8 is interesting, followed by bishop c4, or rook d8 is also interesting. Better question. Funny thing, I'm just two pawn ups, pounds up, and uh, okay, knight is five maybe idea. I need to win anyway, but knight, win b7. Power in e4. I can do, I can castle long, I'm okay about that, because everything is closed on the queen side. Um, is maybe his idea to go f4, f5, and I think it's time to do something, um, no aggression on the... Like this. Okay, let's go b3. So I don't really like my position and I don't like my time management. Mm -hmm. Now he can do rook b2 and grab this pawn, then it will be kind of unpleasant for me. Take care. 
So f5 is coming, bishop takes d6 at some point is coming, but I should play really quickly. Also rook g8 is coming at some point, placing my rook to the g file. Weird sacrifice because rook, ah, rook g8, bishop six eight. Still let's b2, six. Well, so it was at eight. My position is not that good. Okay, but maybe one grabbing the pawn. Actually, I mean. I think I was kind of unlucky game because now in time to play d4 and this is Abia. Uh, here queen a4 is interesting idea. Two, three. And his knight on b6 is badly placed. One. Probably something ran, went wrong. Queen f5 is coming. Twenty-eight forty-nine bullets. Okay, he made not that bad. Good question, what to do? He also doesn't know what to do, that's why he just improved the rook. Great. Great the queens, it's always a good idea. Under it, but I have knight b5, also he forcing me to take on c8. That's not something I want to do, of course. So maybe I have idea in case of rook c8, maybe I can do knight takes a7, followed by rook a3. Ah, his rook is protected. So that I can do, maybe I can do rook a3 because rook c1, rook takes b3. Try that. Yes, and now I even seems like I am even better because uh, I am attacking a7 pawn and then b7 hanging, and uh, d5 is also hanging. Seems to be not that bad for me. It's not that bad for me, but probably he will be okay. Fortunately, yeah. in knight c3 is interesting. Yeah. e5 is coming. Maybe he can do rook a1. Rook 
to push it to b5. Is a5 idea also still seems like black is okay, will be okay. This knight takes a4, possible, but then rook a5 I had. What? Oh, then. Okay. Probably he missed rook a5. Fine. Yes, b5, but I'm not afraid. Knight b5. You can try rook a2 followed by knight c3. Nice tactical idea, but still I will be at least some material up. I can do 7. And in case of knight c3, I just take on... I just take on a2. Having good winning chances, here it's still I'm taking. And uh, his idea to do knight before. How to win this position? Good question. Actually, maybe there is no answer. Because black is solid. But I will try still pawn is a pawn. Grabbing some space on the king side. Actually, he doesn't have low on time, so be fine. Hanging. B5, ruining his pawn structure in case of f5, knight e5 is coming. So this is already something really, really nice for me. Also, still maybe not that, not that winning, but okay. One more try. This time he decided to protect the pawn. It's also fine for me. He cannot castle long sight anymore. So most probably he will go to the to the king side and I will launch my attack on the king side. Bishop b7, then g5 at some point. Okay, let's start aggressive play on the king's side. H5 is coming. Usually engine, engine gives something like plus one for white in such positions, but uh, for human it's not that easy. Yes, for example, bishop a6 in fact is a pointless move. I mean, of course, he at least he trades uh, the bishop, but still... Uh, not a problem for me. Then I will get my queen on this diagonal. So only thing we need to decide which way we're gonna push it forward. Let's go just four. It's also okay for black to sacrifice some material here. The bishop of one now is yeah. Let's Maybe once again I did something on Okay, his king is pretty bad. You okay? Uh, I'm definitely not worse here. I hope. Not sure about knight f6. Knight f6 I have knight f3 nice shot. And I, uh, I believe white has no defense. 
right now I have some ideas queen e3, queen e1, queen g3. Um, okay, he protected everything, and also rook d7 is rook d7 is not a threat actually, so I can g8 just attacking his g3 pawn. It's a good question how he going to protect this pawn. Rook f3 is passive way. Then I just do rook g7 followed by rook g8. Um, all the rook end games, let's say after queen d6, they're just much better for me because uh, I have two connected pawns comparing to his bad pawns. Uh, what's this? Ah, his idea queen take g3, rook d7. Smart idea, what can I say? Rook d7, hard to believe that it worked, but this also queen d6 is annoying. Why? Let's go queen c7. Move rook g5, here rook g d5, maybe g8 at some point. Try not to grab a pawn. Really, my king is open anyway, so I don't really care, but pawn up at least. Ah, that was. And I do d takes e6. Sometimes, sometimes. In case of queen f3, I even will go for rook f5. By the way, maybe this is only winning move. Okay, rook g3. Decided not to play anymore. Challenge another opponent. So still my goal to get twenty eight hundred, which is not something not something great, but still and then we go for one minute game. We have reversed King's Indian. Um, B4 is a good idea here. At least if not B4, then black should be okay. E, but... My idea to play Bishop F8. Powering everything here, classical way. And uh, also, white is solid, so try six. Not sure if I need to grab pawn on b2, but let's try. Then I 
and the queen d3 and queen f7. Grab on d3, but that may be too optimistic. So black is a pawn up, all we need is to trade some pieces. I cannot grab a5 pawn because rook on c8 would be hanging. So actually it's not that, uh, position is not that simple. Play a6, idea knight a7. It makes sense to take with knight. Play rook c8, maybe I can do knight b5 a bit later. Start with rook. Six. Next move we're gonna do knight b5 and everything is protected on the queen side so next I can, can even think about f5 and playing on the king side myself. Mm -hmm. Question if I need to open up the position so let's do queen a2 is interesting move we'll attack but he can easily defend so okay easy. Queen e6, I'm a pawn up, all I need is just uh, all I need, g5, I don't really like, h6 he can do. So I have queen h3, nice. Yeah. And grab the pawn even, <laughs> like being greedy. Problem for white, he cannot do anything. Limb. Dangerous at all. Okay. Okay, what do you want? Queen d8. So queen d8. Just covering everything. Seven now. Oh, king g I'm fine. This of course I happy about. I have three pounds. That's definitely should be enough. But it's better to have well. So my point is to push d4 to open up the position while black king is still in the center. But of course black has um, decent options. This. Uh, only question if he will be in time to castle. Okay, he's in time. He takes e5 then knight takes e3, not something I like to. Try. Ninety then then uh, e four. But then I go knight g five. So let's do knight e four. myself life at least. Maybe one day you also will able to find and join this stream.
So I got bishop pair, basically all I need to trade major pieces and then and then I will be better. That's why I expected some is something more interesting than Queen D7. I would be happy to trade the queens, the rooks, and then it will be. Um, it's not like technically winning position. Let's say bishop pair against uh, bishop and knight, but decent chances to win the game. Well, they said previously, I don't mind. Okay, what next? At some point, his idea maybe to play bishop c6, bishop d5, knight c6, and this is I cannot stop. Uh, this is something I can stop, but I can. Let's start with bishop d2, at least. Uh, Covering something. Uh, good idea to bring our king to the center. Now I think I should go for b3. Covering some squares. Don't think bishop b1 is dangerous, also then actually he forced me to place my pawn to a3 and b4, something that I don't want to do. But okay, what to do? A4 makes sense. I even will go for F3 because for me it's important to um, to keep the bishops. Course, otherwise they can even be better best move for him is just to go back to f7 this also possible. Allowing him to play knight e4, making draw, but he decided it's better to lose. So once again, let's try e5. It looks like something went wrong. I was not in time to castle and this penguin.
Let's sacrifice a pawn, it's not that important. I mean, especially since I get uh, light squared bishop and I can do f5, f4. Even other way, I, I could play it somehow else, but uh, this seems to be interesting. Especially, uh, I can leave. Take on c3 and do queen f6. Coming. I think I have I have I have some compensation, maybe not that great, but um, at least something. If queen g3, then his pawn structure is pretty bad. If queen f6, then I intermediate move. Now I think I better. Rook takes f2 is coming. Anyway. Right. Okay, let's place our knight to c4, nice square, and stop in his c4 move. Play positionally. And it's very hard for white to. Actually, it's very hard for white to do something. Bishop is pretty bad, and it's hard to attack the knight on d4. Also, that's not bad. Good try. So. Rook f5 with the idea of rook a5. Something went wrong. Also, I can do a5 and actually still my knight is um, hard to attack. Try g5. See, he cannot take bishop e5 and even if he gonna take this pawn still uh, i will be better maybe not better but at least uh, no danger for me still this knight is so powerful that <laughs> funny thing that anyway black is the one who playing for something here now rook g6 take some fine I need one more move to play a4. Uh, king, I can. Fucking, oh, I'm not in time in one move. Also, right. Very nice. King d3. I can do g3. King takes c4 and king e4, and he's he cannot do anything to stop the pawn. So, like he's just winning. Oh, I can see that I'm streaming. <laughs> so welcome, guys, if, if you have joined me. Play one more game. Another, oh, wow, nine, twenty-three, that's serious man. Right, d6. Now b5. So quickly.
Okay. So I just got worse position. No future for black. Knight e4 is at least something I should do. Trade, uh, trade in the knight, so it's a bit easier to leave then. Um, bishop g5 is coming. Position is not fun at all. Um, something like queen of fate. His position is so bad that I even want to resign. Of course, I'm not gonna do that. What then? Smart move. Let's try. Anyway, position is pretty bad. Somebody else? Hmm. Sideline of uh, King's Indian, or it's even ha has. Um, it even has uh, its own name, like uh, Old Indian Defense. Five makes no sense, actually. I'm much better developed, and I even can take with this bishop here. Sense, but okay, let's just normal move. This guy is definitely easier to play <laughs> than previous one. Has this check on a4, so back. And, uh, black is just much better here. I have uh, usually. This bishop is not that great, but um, five. But here I can do h5, bishop h6, for example. This is one of the way to improve this bishop. Another plan it can be just knight h5, knight f4. So everything is fine for me. Was fine for. Okay, I still can do queen a5. If knight c3, I just take on a3. Rising. I'm not that bad anymore. Something went wrong. I can try this tricky move, bishop b5. You see his Queen is unprotected, and also e4 is uh, hanging. So let's say rook d1, I just take on d3, take on e4. If bishop b5, then a takes b5, and everything is fine.
still, still, I'm better. Maybe even much better. Actually, what's interesting? Till next move, I always can do knight c5 or just take on a4. Is also a good idea. Yeah, I had to take on a proper. What to do? Queen takes, and I also gonna take. Knight c5, e4 is coming. Uh, very forced play. Also, his b3 pawn is hanging. Maybe it makes sense to start with f5, bishop c3, rook takes c5, d takes c5, knight takes c4. And uh, it's a question if it will be easy to convert uh, that position. That's why I will go for f5. Bishop a6, then rook, uh, then bishop c3. If rook c1, then I just play rook b6, protecting the pawn on a6. And actually, white doesn't have any good move. Was I can take on d3, but rush probably. Next move, rook b8 is coming. He only weakened his pawn structure. b8 is coming. Knight takes b3 is a decent move. So I'm just one point from 2800 and then my plan was to switch for bullet games. So maybe it's a good question if I need to do these bullet games. It's not that uh, it's fun, but uh, it makes n uh, no sense in terms of um... Black's position is pretty bad. Uh, all what he did is uh, everything what he did is completely wrong. The queen g6. Maybe it's here. Although initially my plan was just to play e6, followed by d takes c5, and much better. But why not to take on g6? Because I have threat of queen takes e6, knight g5, queen h5, everything. Very easy win. What to do next?
So since I have um, since I have few people watching me, even then you can write me what to do next. Should I play bullet games or still playing three plus zero? Let's play some fun, 1 plus, plus 0, so it should be really fast and probably no time to comment anything. Still, I would like to give you some ideas maybe of... So playing 1 plus 0 is something... Uh, you don't really have any time to think and you played you should play really quickly playing for the initiative is a really good idea but I grab two pounds, all, all I need is to survive next. Early knight on a5 is very well placed, protecting everything. On. Right. Time to open up the position. It was better to go another way. Bishop b5 and mate him. Still good. I see boys come. The last time we have in in Blitz game, higher possibility of capturing everything. So most probably your opponent gonna take anything you offer him to take he still doesn't want to take under it pawn on b2 and still he doesn't want to take my knight on pretty bad position oh blitz game for bullet game oops protected last move he protected that need to do something with my knight some jumps Is creating a passive pawn. It where to what? Is pound, but I have no such square yet. Oh, thank you. Oh, 
Hello, Z C H Hansen. Hey, nice. Probably exchange Slav defense. That's another op It's time to open up the position. His his king is pretty bad. Check if b4, then bishop takes. B4 is coming. He's gonna blunder that. Fortunately not. Still I will try to do that. Another way. I could play smart. This is the way. <laughs> so bishop e4 is coming and all I need to pick away this rook. Ah, so now I cannot do bishop e4. Oi. Aha, that's line. Knight f3 and g3. Yes, I played time to time, although there is nothing special there. But uh, in case if opponent is not uh, prepared, then. Okay. So is there anybody to play here? I'm bet much better in terms of pawn structure. Bishop d4 was a good idea for him. Opposite bishops. Something very interesting to play actually. You shouldn't underestimate them. My position is actually much better. All I need is to place queen to g6. Not dangerous at all, so I don't care. 
way his king is worse because he has pawns here so all his light squares are weak and mate is coming So I think playing bullet is not that popular to stream it because it's no time to talk some tell you something no time to talk I can hit queen force it back try to press it Knight on h5 is in Again, attacking his knight. Actually, in chess, the more. Um, all you need to attack your opponent many times. So then at some point, he will blunder something. Yet there is nothing. Exactly what I told you about blundering myself is not a good idea.
taking control over f5. Next, my plan to double the rooks on e file. Once again, on Ah, oh, he's 2900. It's a putter. Okay, now let's take it seriously.
to probably to stream something then i need to do it with blitz time control because bullet it's not that okay but really no time to talk about something there is no time to It's no time, not that, not that interesting. Okay, so let's finish for today. At least it was first time I was uh, streaming here under my name. Here there is notification about that, so it's good. Then maybe um, I will improve something and um, gonna make um, learning streams. Playing, of course, it's fine, but uh, like I think most of the chess players, they would like to improve their chess, so it's really good uh, thing to do is uh, to solve some positions, to solve some problems, uh, tactics, and so on. So thank you for watching me. You <laughs> uh, like who was here with me? You were first uh, visitors. Thank you and bye.